So what is up ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm going to be going over the jelly looking frogs that everyone is asking me about. Although this is a new territory for me, it's really fascinating to learn about new creature. And if my Gekopia fans want to learn about something new, I'm definitely going to try these sometimes in my channel for refreshing contents. So hope you all enjoy the video and as you all know, if you could destroy that like button for the YouTube algorithm, I'd really really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get into it. So recently, I found this cute jelly looking frog in my IG discovery page and I fall in love with them right after I saw them. So I just have to share this with my Gecko Pia fam to see how they think about this frog. And all of them, majority of them love this frog so I immediately got them. These frogs are called glass frog, and in scientific word, they call this Hylolinobatrachium flatchimani. Uh Wait a minute! Who are you? Hylolinobatrachium flatchimani. I'm sorry about the pronunciation, but anyway, when I got them, I know Las Vegas will be super, super dry for them, so I really study a lot how I could make their environment like where they're from. From my understanding, due to their epidermis, which their skin is moisty and sticky, you definitely want to wear a latex glove or any other gloves that doesn't observe their body moisture, which I think they're very fragile, so I don't recommend handling them, but if you need to handle them, Try soaking your hand in the water before you handle them with bare skins or wear gloves that could keep their body wet all time. A couple of interesting things I found about them while researching is when they are on the glass walls or plastic walls, you can literally see their heart filling in and out. And when they kept in hot and warm places, their body melts like a ice cream and dies out. Now, about their environment setup, it sounds like these frogs are more likely to do well in a temperature that are around 68 Fahrenheit to 76 Fahrenheit with 60% and 80% humidity level. I believe the more humid it is, it will be good for them. Their breeding season is around March to November and lays the eggs on the leaf at the most around 20 eggs per season and the male protects the eggs until these eggs hatch out. Usually other frogs will lay its egg in the water, but for these, it looks like they only lay it on the leaf to prevent from getting eaten by the, its predators. Also, when they lay its egg, they lay it right above the water, so the tadpoles could go right into the waters when they hatch out from the eggs. I'm still figuring out how to tell the difference between the male and female. So for those who are frog experts, if you know how to differentiate male and female glass, glass frogs, please let me know down in the comments. I know that males do buccalize during the breeding seasons and females don't, but right now, because it's not a breeding season, I honestly don't know which one is male and which one is female because both of them are quiet. Oh, and also I heard females tend to be a little bit bigger than a males, um, slightly, but what I have right now is all looks the same and very similar. I normally don't get into frogs, but these I cannot miss out on. They gave me the same instinct to when I first found my Red Octopus Kings, which right in seconds after I saw their photos, I had to get them no matter what. Also, because I know some of you guys may want these cool frogs, I also brought a little bit of extras for you guys as well. So if you want to get them, feel free to visit us on our website. I will leave a link down below. But yeah, it's very dry here in Las Vegas, but I'm going to try my best to get these guys to live the best quality of life with my research skills. Also, since these frogs are now part of our Gekopia fam, I will keep you guys posted later how they do in our vivarium setup, in hint. Also, want to hear it from you guys as well. How do you think about these little frogs? Are they cute? And if I were to create a vivarium for these guys, which plant should I plant? So comment all those information down in the comment. And my very first vivarium DIY will eventually come up very soon. So stay tuned and let's see how these things go. And also I want to hear from you guys as well. How do you guys think about this little cute frogs? Do you guys like it? If you do, write me a comment down below. So ladies and gentlemen, I'll wrap up the video now here. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And for those who have not subscribed to our channel, go ahead and subscribe and share and comment and like all those things. 
but I'll see you guys in the next one.